important part of the success of the movie and the acting in the movie was also in the background artists that came to work on the movie. We probably had almost a thousand background artists that uh, worked on the film and as important as the faces uh, were for the speaking roles, for lack of a better word, because it is a silent movie, the background artists had to have even in some way better faces because they didn't have the opportunity to be on camera centered in the frame with all of the attention on them. They had to be in the background, whether they were dancing, whether they were walking, whether they were standing outside of a theater. And again, this is the, it's a movie that's set in the late 20s and early 30s, and there definitely uh, is a different look when you look at photographs and, and film of that era. So George and Pepe, they lead the movie in every way. And I really, really hope and want you guys to all see this movie because if you are an aspiring actor, an aspiring day player, knowing that it takes one step at a time, seeing a movie like this will totally open your eyes to the fact that you can make an impact in a very small scene. I mean, this is the greatest advertisement for the day player. Debbie Weissman, who was our extras uh, background casting director, we brought her in probably six weeks before we even started shooting because we knew that finding the right faces to be able to put into the frame with our actors, and again, not just faces, because they had the opportunity, uh, as they do on all movies, I mean, they can't just sit there and, you know, with, with nothing to do. I mean, they have to be able to emote and, and act and be involved in the scene for it to work properly. Casting the day player in this movie was not like just casting a role in a TV show where a cop says, go over there. It also had to communicate the tone and feel of the scene in a bigger way. And I think that this was an amazing opportunity for an actor because not only was it, can I deliver this one line, because you have to remember that they are delivering that line, whether you're hearing it, but it's, are they communicating it with their body? Are they communicating it with their face and their reaction? So I think that the day player is king. It's the best way into a, into a job, actually, to move up the ladder to become that movie star. You always have to start somewhere. And starting in this movie as a day player was already like starting ahead of the curve because I think the day player required even more than in a movie or a television show where they would have dialogue that's spoken. This was a really an opportunity because of the fact that it was a movie set in the 20s and the early 30s that faces were going to be really important and also there's a certain level of skill and talent in being able to act in a silent movie. Uh, as much as it's a silent movie, the actors are still talking, they're still addressing one another, they're still interacting with one another, but it has to be in a way that they can feel comfortable with. And truly, all of the actors that came in, certainly for the smaller roles, the day player roles, uh, you know, the couple of day roles, all came in understanding that it was going to be a bit of a different process, but they really embraced it. Uh, oftentimes, you know, more so than some of the actors that we met for some of the larger roles because they felt it was a little intimidating. Uh, we found that a lot of the actors that were coming in for the day playing roles were really enthusiastic about throwing themselves into the process of something new. Ultimately, it's my job to try to find the best actor and it's also really challenging to know that you're trying to fulfill that job and you're you're going to disappoint a lot of people in the process but that is part of the job so I sort of have to remember well if it's not this one then it'll be another one for them and if you stay in it long enough it's a journey this movie might be challenging in the sense that we had to create this panorama of the silent film era and make sure that everything was consistent and looked proper and you know historically correct and then, it, of course, it was personally challenging to know that, ooh, I really wanted to give him the part two, and I just couldn't because you just can't, you know, double cast. <laughs> the most challenging aspect to the movie, and there really were not a lot of them, which is surprising considering the nature of the film and, and how crazy it is to make a black and white silent movie in 2010, which is when we made it. Uh, was probably the initial uh, response that we got within the agent uh, community here in Los Angeles uh, because agents are inherently a little skeptical 
uh, when they when things come across their desk that aren't um, sort of mainstream and commercial, and this was neither mainstream nor commercial. And uh, when we were uh, approaching a number of agents that represented actors who we liked, and even agents who were representing really interesting character actors and the smaller day the day playing roles. Uh, the initial reaction was, why do I want to get my client into this movie? And what is it that this movie is going to do for my client? And they were looking at it from a very business perspective, as opposed to necessarily looking at what the movie was and what the movie could be. And we were fortunate that a number of actors had read the script separately, not having gone through the agents, and began contacting their agents to say, I've read the script, I've heard about this movie, how do I get in on it? Because this is fantastic. And thanks to a number of actors prodding their agents and getting them to recognize that this is something really interesting and this is something that their clients have never done before because uh, a black and white silent feature film, I think there's there have been maybe one or two made in the last 80 years. So the odds are their clients hadn't been in them. And it would probably be, probably be the last opportunity that they might have to be in a black and white silent feature. And they started then coming aboard the idea of this could be really interesting and it's not necessarily just the business aspect of getting their actors and their clients into movies. It's actually getting them into something really amazing.